just water in the gutter. It's a few minutes after sunrise, and Travis Pritchard and Jamie Hampton are stalking waterways through the streets of San Diego. It's right there, you can see it coming off. It's right here. So, just complete oversaturation of water, and it's just running off down the sidewalk? Yep. They're in Hampton's old VW van and are trying to find the source of a big puddle by following its trickling gutter trail. Yeah, we just drove right in the storm drain. Three, three, three blocks. And it was constantly <laughs> wet. And the entire gutter system <laughs> is filled with water. Pritchard works for the environmental group San Diego Coastkeeper. He's out scouring the streets for water waste because he says the city isn't. Currently, I don't see the city doing any enforcement at all. And what really they need to be doing is out there aggressively uh, finding the problems and following it all the way through until it's fixed. San Diego imposed water rules in November, including only watering lawns three days a week for no more than seven minutes. But the city didn't have enough staff to go out and look for violators. Instead, it asked residents to rat out their neighbors and relied on those reports to find water waste. Do you know how many inches of water that is? Yeah. That's why Pritchard is acting like a vigilante water cop. Yeah. Mandatory measures without any sort of effective enforcement are just voluntary measures. San Diego Public Utilities Chief Hala Razak told KPBS's Evening this, Edition so the governor's announcement about will change that. So part of the requirement that the state is putting on us is that we need to step up enforcement and we will need to report out how many violations we're issuing, how many citations and so on. So we are, go we are looking into adding a couple more positions to help proactively. People will be driving around looking for water waste and then uh, there will be formal warnings issued and then if things are not corrected, possibly citations as well. Up until now, water rule breakers have gotten three chances to fix a problem before facing fines of up to $500. No one has been fined so far, even though Razak says a fifth of violators didn't correct their problems right away. Brown ordered San Diego to cut its water use by 16 percent, so water rule breakers will now have two strikes instead of three. The city will also slash sprinkler use at parks and is restarting a rebate program for homeowners who take out their grass. If the lawn is used actively for in the backyard, kids playing or ball fields and so on, then obviously that is a good use for it. But if it's an ornamental lawn in the front yard, the only time you use it is when you're mowing it, then it really does not belong in San Diego. And then it would overflow way over here. Callie Mack and Philip Roulard got rid of the grass at their San Carlos home years ago. They also save water that runs while their shower warms up, collect rainwater in barrels, and pipe their washing machine's gray water onto their fruit trees. But Mack says there's still more they could do. We're thinking about uh, doing something we saw in Mongolia, using a pressurized uh, pump sprayer. It's a small tank and you can shower on maybe a gallon or less of water. On average, a five-minute shower uses 12 and a half gallons of water. Max says they don't mind the extra work. I don't think we should be using a resource that's uh, becoming increasingly scarce and with climate change. We don't really know what's going to happen. Back in the van, water hunters Pritchard and Hampton have found the runoff source. Sprinklers are drenching a small patch of grass at an apartment complex a few blocks away. They've saturated it and it's just soggy running off. Pritchard snaps a picture with his phone to make a report to the city. He points out that San Diego only cut its water use by 2% last year. We really need to be stepping up as a leader for water conservation and I see the city just plodding along and, and doing really the bare minimum or just under that. He hopes the governor's order will spur the city into action. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.